The following video demonstrates transanal endoscopic microsurgery, or TEM, and its approach to a rectal sleeve resection with an intrarectal end-to-end hand-sewn anastomosis. A 46-year-old man presented with a circumferential rectal stricture discovered on flexible sigmoidoscopy for concern of ischemic colitis. He recently had an endovascular repair of an aortic aneurysm with possible occlusion of the IMA. He is immunosuppressed with a history of pancreas and kidney transplant. Sigmoidoscopy revealed a partially obstructing circumferential mass measuring 2 centimeters, located 7 centimeters from the anal verge. This was biopsied three times, showing no malignancy, with the last one as a sessile serrated adenoma. He did not have any findings of acute ischemic colitis. Due to the possibility of a malignant stricture not suitable for dilation, we proceeded with transanal endoscopic microsurgery for a sleeve resection of the mid-rectum inclusive of the stricture. This occurred two months after his EVAR procedure. In lithotomy position, a long beveled operating proctoscope was inserted. The intended resection margins were marked on the posterior side and the stricture was cut through beginning anteriorly. A full thickness sleeve resection through the mesenteric fat was completed. It was circumferential and inclusive of the entire stricture. The dissected fibrotic tissue was sent intraoperatively and was negative for malignancy on frozen section. The proximal and distal edges of resection were measured against the defect. Three 2O Vicro holding sutures were placed to better approximate the rectal edges, beginning with the right lateral side. Now, the left lateral aspect. The posterior aspect was now reapproximated. A running 2O PDS was used to close the circumferential defect, completing the hand sewn end to end intrarectal anastomosis.
Final pathology reveals nonspecific acute on chronic inflammation, negative for adenoma, dysplasia, and carcinoma. Postoperative endoscopy at two months showed fibrinous exudate on a patent anastomosis. Six-month patency is displayed, and at 12 months, a biopsy-proven benign inflammatory ulceration on the anastomosis was demonstrated. The patient continues for follow-up and is doing well.